Hi everyone, welcome to the Pit Stop. I am your host Raja, and today my special guest here is Mariah Paris Balenciaga. Hi, honey puss, what's going on? I'm gonna confess in front of the world today that when I first met you on our season of RuPaul's Drag Race, I was terrified of you because you are a stunning beauty. Oh, thank you. Let's talk. We have a lot to cover. We're yes, talking about yes, yes, yes. fourth episode. Girl, that Alyssa Edwards already for me is a coca nut times 10. Yes, well, I'm glad that you brought up Alyssa first. Alyssa made a very huge decision in the previous episode where she got rid of Ginger. A lot of people feel that she kind of changed the game when she made that decision. How do you feel about that? When you backtrack, on that group decision, that's a big no-no for me. Especially yeah. without like voicing your concerns to the girls prior to you doing that. Yeah. It certainly adds to the drama, which I like. I don't think anyone, I think if everyone just kind of kept the same rules, yeah, that I'd would be, be so boring. bored. And then again, drag is all about breaking the rules anyway, so. Alyssa also is going through it with Fifi a little bit. Fifi kind of was in disagreement and really truly came for her on that first like opening moment. It's starting to get kind of on the same path that she's fought so hard to get away from, from her season. Yes. And I'm like, girl, don't try to go in with the same strategy that you went in with the first time. You know, leads us to the next part of our conversation, the challenge. The sequels. The sequels, yes. Katya and Detox as Velma and Weezy. One word, brilliant. I think they were very equally yoked. I think they both carried their part well. Yes. And then, of course, there was eye candy. And to me, that was a winning team there already. Yeah. Eye candy. I win. I loved how in sync they were together. They were like, OK, we're going to be broke down zombies. We're both going to commit to it in the same way. No one's going to be the prettier zombie. No one's going to be the ugly zombie. We're just going to be crazy and zombies. It was zombie porn at its best. Ew, you're so weird. See, I think I need to call <laughs> Chi Chi LaRue and work some things out with that. Oh <laughs> Call me, girl. Weird. So what was with the girls and not being able to get the words? It was oh. doo doo do wah doo wah Shaw. Shaw. And Sash with, uh, with Roxy. Right. But I, OK. And Rigor and Morris. Just, Who's Rig Morris? Rigor Morris. Is that, Who's Morris? Is that the bomb that lived down the street? So I want to know, you guys. Who, yeah. who Morris Rigor be? Morris. What did you think of Alyssa's look? Girl, I love her. But it just was a, a concept not fully realized. And then we have Alaska with Lil Pound Cake. Yeah, I loved her look. I, I also love Roxy's look a lot too. Roxy's was gorgeous. It was, she's always so sultry. That How body's always it? on point. I actually really liked Fifi's outfit too. I think um, Fifi's very smart and she, she does that really cool thing with costumes. So yeah. I thought she did. And she also makes sure that it's something she can still handle and not be overwhelmed with. Yeah. So I want an a, a impact, but I'd rather execute. Yes. OK, so now we have the final three. And Fifi decided not to interview her, any, of her, any of the girls and find out more about the, you know, what their thought process is. I can see where Fifi was coming from. Once you have your mind made up, I don't even want to waste your time or give you any extra hope mm -hmm. when I know I've ha I have my mind made up. Right. All right, so this is a question that I try to ask every episode here is, Redemption moment. This is the theme. Who do you think had the biggest redemption moment on this episode? I think Detox. Mm. Acting challenge. She turned it completely for me. Fierce. I love you some Fashion details. fierce and phenomenal. And funny. And funny. Yes. Who would have thunk it? Come on, Detox. Mm -hmm. We love you, puss. All right, and the elimination. Oh my God, this breaks my heart. Alyssa Edwards, I'm, I'm so sad to see her go. Yeah, she is very entertaining, a great personality, and I think All Stars 2 is better for having had her. But, bum, bum, bum. Dun, dun, dun. at the very end, behind the mirror, stands the other four that have left. Girl, just heated, just hot. This is that revenge that we've been hearing from RuPaul talk about. And now it's finally coming to a head. Girl, it's finally can, coming to fruition. You can see Here the daggers. Is. You can see Ooh. the daggers. Alyssa, honey, I'm telling her chin was in her clavicle. Just tight. What do we think is going on? What is going on? Why are all those bitches behind the mirror? OK, so there's five girls left, and there's four girls behind the mirror. I'm wondering if they're going to do another challenge and have to work with the girls that they eliminated. That would be something else if they have to get paired with the person that they eliminated. Oh my God. Who knows? Who knows? 
I can't wait to tune in until next week and check it out and just... It's getting I, good. It's I've been waiting for this revenge moment for the last four episodes. There's Absolutely. nothing sweeter than All-Star Revenge. Oof. Well said. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I wanted to say a special thank you to our special guest, Mariah Paris Balenciaga, for giving us your little two cents. My little whiff is. Yes, darling. So join us next week, and I cannot wait to see what goes on. We've got four bitches behind the mirror, and we're gonna find out next week. Thank you so much. See you guys later. Hey, squirrel friend. When one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>